As we approach the final week of the Ram Mandir inauguration in Ayodhya, we present an exclusive expert report uncovering an innovative pattern of religious war in India. As per a compilation of various complaints provided by the local RA residents, it is observed that an interfaith collaboration is in action in which Muslims, Christians and builders unite in a new narrative for ancient Hindu temples. The position of Hindus against the rest has already been a political state of affair, but as various evidences show, the facts could be true that ancient Hindu temples are targeted as well. In a similar case that had been going on in Ayodhya, a prolonged battle resulted in the Muslim community initially claiming the entire land, which is considered by Hindus as the birthplace of Sri Ram. Interestingly, since the Supreme Court's verdict has come out in favour of the ancient Hindu temple in Ayodhya, and various other Hindu temple sites are facing litigation for takeover for Muslim communities across the nation. The narrative has now shifted from Muslims no longer claiming the temple land. However, they are now claiming the role of caretakers of the ancient Hindu temple land instead to avoid losing ground in case of legal battle. Our exclusive coverage takes you inside an isolated patch in Mumbai's RA Colony Unit 20, where Jubair Ansari claims to have discovered five old stone sculptures of Hindu deities and a shivling. The age of these dark grey and black stone idols is estimated to be between 100 to 350 years. This site, where the ancient Hindu temple was found, is exactly behind the Ram Mandir, which is located in the Are colony, due to which the anticipation of religious tension is considered with a serious note. This case is about a Muslim person who is accused of being in a live-in relationship with a Hindu tribal girl. People say he is doing this to take advantage of a tribal card so they can live on forest land, especially at the ancient Hindu temple site, according to locals. He claims to be the caretaker of this ancient Hindu temple and allegedly has taken over more than two acres of land in Aray. This land is technically meant for the Aray Milk Factory to be officially controlled by them. Unfortunately, the CEO of Aray Milk Factory is also facing a complaint for hurting Hindu sentiments. He declares his self-proclaimed caretaker status, citing correspondence with the government authorities as proof. Here is what he said during a conversation with the Crimophobia team. और क्या आपको था जो अभी से मेरा कैसा है कि सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने स्टेट को भेजा स्टेट को मैं आर्कोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफिस में कुछ गया था तो उन्होंने बोला अभी स्टेट को भेजा तो स्टेट आएगी तुम्हारा सर्वे करेगी फिर वो बीएमसी मॉन्यूमेंट डिपार्टमेंट आर्कोलॉजिकल प्रोटेक्शन मॉन्यूमेंट डिपार्टमेंट के पास मैटर जाएगा फिर वो आएंगे अपना सर्वे करेंगे तो वो देखेंगे क्या मॉन्यूमेंट बनना चाहिए कि क्या बनना चाहिए जैसे हेरिटेज साइट है या मॉन्यूमेंट है या इसको प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए म्यूजियम टाइप में कुछ करना है ये डिसाइड करेंगे ये उन्होंने मुझे बोला ये भी मैं रिसेंटली टेन डेज बिफोर गया था कुछ कागज वागज दिया आपको या वही जबान से बोल रहे नहीं मुझे बोला ना मैंने जो राइटिंग कैसे देंगे अपने को कि योर मैटर इज फॉर डेट टू डू नहीं दिखा मैं राइटिंग है अच्छी बात अपने को क्या सर देखो अरे प्रशासन तो परेशान कर देता ही उनको कोई असामाजिक तत्व उनके पीछे पड़ता है उन लोग करके हेरेसमेंट करते हैं हालांकि अपना तो ऐसा कुछ है नहीं समझे सर आप परेशान करते हैं अब लोग बहुत से लोग उसमें उंगली भी करते हैं उंगली करते क्या करेंगे उनको सर कुछ नहीं तो उसका कर नहीं सकता तो देखो ऐसा ही ठीक है ये सर्वे हुआ मोर्डन टू एकड़ लैंड पूरा तत्व ने माना इसको टेंपल साइट है ये पूरी और मैं मेरी इसका केयर टेकर बोला मैंने तो आपने देखा कुछ वॉलेंटियर केयर टेकर वॉलेंटियर केयर टेकर लिखा है ना सर मनीष मुंबई हुई है ये जो फाइल है ना सर हाँ वो फाइल तो ये फाइल पूटा हुई है और ये रिपोर्ट है उनका ये उन्होंने सबमिट किया जिस पर उन्होंने बताया है कि जब उन्होंने सर्वे किया मैं मैं साइड पे था वॉलेंटियर केयर टेकर वॉलेंटियर केयर टेकर लेकिन है ना सर 
वो तो आपने बोला है कि आप वॉलेंटियर भी कैटे कर रहे हो तो उन्होंने आपको टाइटल नहीं दिया है आपने उनको बोला कि आप वॉलेंटियरली आप कैटेकर बन रहे हो तो उन्होंने आपको उधर पाया तो ये लोकेशन में आपने यहाँ पे बनाया है अपना तो उन्होंने आपको करार नहीं किया वो आपको वो हल्का सा उसमें लैंग्वेज में डिफरेंस है The the site is strategically located near the controversial Mumbai Metro car shed opposite the Mumbai police camp and sharing a boundary with the Santa Cruz Electronic Export Processing Zone, popularly known as C. Ansari claims to have found idols of Lord Shiva, Goddess Durga, Hanuman, and a Shivli, prompting speculation from the locals that these idols may have been shifted from their original temple site inside C. Adding complexity to the narrative, Ansari is allegedly supported by a Christian environmentalist whose NGO reportedly coordinated the ban on the Ganesh Utsav in Aray. The Aray Milk Factory eventually issued a notice disallowing celebrations and Ganesh idol immersion in the Aray Lakes. The activist of the same NGO also claims that as per media reports, the discovery of religious idols within the Aray Metro Carshed site and Seed jurisdiction has identified 16th century church idols built by the Portuguese. On another front, Ansari claims to be the employee of a local builder known as Royal Palms and currently is also planning road work for them while positioning himself as the official caretaker for ancient Hindu land, supported by Christians, NGOs and the builder. The officials of this Muslim builder known as Royal Palms confirmed that he is working with them and various conversations have been held with Jubair Ansari and his social media also confirms he working with the Royal Palms. Interestingly, few locals highlighted Ansari's social media handle claiming single status while at the ancient Hindu temple site he claims to have been living with his Hindu wife who is assumed to be his living relationship partner. At the time of approaching RM Milk Factory CEO, they ignored the issue and later in an RTI provided documents of the security department in which stated Mr. Jubair Ansari was evicted from the site and a crime complaint was registered against him. Unfortunately, the ground reality doesn't confirm the same as the land grabbing gang is very much operational in which the target is ancient Hindu temples. It is up to the nation to decide if this is a religious battle or a usual crime in action.